There was nothing idiosyncratic about Brinker unless you saw him from behind. I did as he turned to close the door after him. The flaps of his garbardine jacket parted slightly over his healthy rump, and it is that, without any sense of derision at all, that I recall as Brinker's sal salient characteristic those healthy, determined, not over-exaggerated, but definite and substantial buttocks. Leper Lepelier stands out for me as the person who is most often and most emphatically taken by surprise by this and every other shift in our life at Devon. Let's go to the beach. The beach was hours away by bicycle, forbidden, completely out of all bounds. Going there risked expulsion, destroyed the studying I was going to do for an important test the next morning, blasted the reasonable amount of order I wanted to maintain in my life, and it also involved the kind of long, labored bicycle ride I hated. Alright. I hope you're having a good, pretty good time here. I know I kind of dragged you away at the point of a gun, but after all, you can't come to the shore with just anybody, and you can't come you're by yourself. And at this teenage period in your life, the proper person is your best pal, which you are. Tell you I'm training for the 1944 Olympics. No, you didn't. Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be 100% ready for them, so I'm gonna train you instead. But there's gonna be Olympics 1944. I mean, with the war, it's only a couple years away. Leave your fantasy life out of this. We're training you for the 1944 Olympics. Like that time you pushed Finny out of the tree. You stupid, crazy bastard. Like that time you crippled him for life. 